Hello, welcome to another Simply Rad video. We will be discussing a condition with an interesting name and imaging appearance. We will be learning about progressive supranuclear palsy. Progressive supranuclear palsy is one of the primary Parkinsonian syndromes. In order to label it as primary, we have to exclude other causes which can give us similar signs and symptoms, and these are infection, infarction, and drugs. So if the indication for imaging is evaluation of symptoms of Parkinsonism, first we have to see if the pattern falls into these more common secondary causes. If these are absent, then we should consider the primary Parkinsonian syndromes one of which is our topic for today, progressive supranuclear palsy. To start us with a thinking process to analyze this disease, let us get clues from the name, progressive and supranuclear palsy. The word progressive refers to the clinical course, while the supranuclear palsy refers to the type of gaze palsy. Supranuclear means that the lesion is above the ocular motor nerve nuclei and hence in the upper pathways. But what do you mean by upper pathways? The upper pathways refers to these structures. Take note that it involves the substantia nigra, the superior colliculus, and the rostral interstitial nucleus of the medial longitudinal fasciculus. We will go back to this diagram later. Now remember that PSP is one of the primary Parkinsonian syndromes, and it is due to a tau pathology. In PSP, these tau proteins are resistant to proteolysis and form neurofibrillary tangles. They preferentially aggregate in several structures to include the substantia nigra in green, the superior colliculus in pink, and the nucleus of the MLF in yellow. Now what do you notice in the location of these involved structures? Yes, they are mostly in the midbrain. And what functions do these structures have in common? That is correct. They are involved in the pathways of saccade control. If these structures atrophy, the midbrain becomes small. And this is popularly known as the hummingbird sign. The distinct pattern of midbrain atrophy is shown in this sagittal T1 weighted image. One finding in PSP is thinning of the superior colliculus or superior tectum. Second, there is loss of the normal convexity of the superior midbrain tegmentum. Compare this with the normal midbrain. Another abnormality is seen on axial images. Again, this is the normal midbrain. Now because of the atrophy, there is loss of the convexity of the lateral margin of the midbrain. Compare it with the normal midbrain on the left. This is called the morning glory sign. In summary, Progressive supranuclear palsy is one of the primary Parkinsonian syndromes caused by abnormal tau proteins. The term supranuclear refers to a supranuclear gaze palsy, which denotes a lesion in the pathways above the ocular motor nerve nuclei. Many of the structures involved in these pathways are located in the midbrain. The location of these structures explains what we see on imaging, including 
the hummingbird sign, and the morning glory sign. That's it. Thank you for listening and see you on the next video.